Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder D, and we are back playing Dark Souls 2. So last time we made our way around the Lost Bastille, we discovered a few secrets, defeated the, um, quite a few pursuers at this point. Uh, we defeated the, the Belfry Gargoyles, and, um, and found the Bastille Key. So yeah, mm, excuse me. We're definitely doing, making good progress. So now we're on our way to the Sinner's Rise. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Alright. Um, we can just teleport there, which is great. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, this place is definitely a, uh... That's not exactly the funnest place. There we go. Get rid of this dude. A nice light. That light will be important in a second. Whee! But first things first, we gotta get rid of dudes. Look at this one. And this dude. There we go. Anyone else? Ow! Rude! Ugh, lightning bolt! There we go. Now we can just beat this guy senseless. Perfect. Alright, so what we want to do actually is now that we've cleared them, make sure to go around here and grab this item that's right on a ledge. There we go. Human effigy. Gotta keep ourselves pretty. And you want to come back up here and grab that fire. There we go. Now we're going to head on down. Because that's where we really need it. So yeah, we're going to head on down this wonderful elevator. Whee! Make sure that you're looking down because you're going to want to jump to grab an item. There you go. Lacerating knight. Very nice. And there's a bound. I mean, there's a summon sign over here. Alright, but the things we're going to be facing are dumb, annoying, and big. If they are. Oh, never mind. It's the Flexi Century. What is he doing here? Make sure to take this guy out. Yep. Once was a boss. Now he's literally just a guy in my way. Okay, never mind. I, I thought it was the old... Uh, there was these really ugly things that were really powerful. Had a lot of HP. Yeah, they were, uh, they were definitely an annoying thing. Open up this wall. Now over here, stick close to the here, so you can pick up the Northern Ritual Band. There we go. Now we're going to be moving on forward. The water is annoying as it does slow us down. Alright. There we go. Take these stupid chain guys out. Last thing we need is one of them exploding on us. And there's a second ritual, I mean, summoning sign. I had no idea. Alright, since we got the Bastille key, we're able now to open up these doors up here. Which is very fantastic for us. It's fast, it's efficient. We're not going to be exploring all the cells down here. I just want to grab my fire and go. So now that we've done that, we're going to grab the fire. 
And we're gonna move forward. There we go. We are, however, gonna gr grab a summon. Who is it, anyways? Cell Sword Lewis. Oh, hey, this is the guy from the beginning. If you remember, our first summon friend was uh, this guy. He's got dual shield. Yes, yes. Pleasure to see you again. Let's be off. There we go. Light this torch. Make sure there's nothing up here. Cell Sword Lewis, where the poop are you going? Can't even open this from down here. Alright, well our, uh... There he is. I was just about to call it off from that dude. So here's the reason why you want to bring the torch over here. Is because in that room is very dark. Which means that you have to be pretty close to lock on. So instead, we're going to open up these doors. And we're going to light this. There we go. That is very important for this boss fight. Radiant Life Gem, fantastic. And secondly, go through this one. See, this is why it's good to get that just steel key. Smooth and silky stone. And we're just gonna light this one. Alright, buddy, get out of my way. Alright, now that we've done that, we can officially go into the boss fight. Ew. Ah, he's got a bug in his eye. I'd be angry too if I had a bug in my eye. Oh great, he's got a sword. Yeah, see, he knocks the lights out. But, we have these giant torches. Oh, jeez, I was too busy acknowledging the torches. Oh. Alright, let's do a quick heal while he's distracted. Yeah, and especially for casters who need to be pretty, uh, targeting. That's why it's a good thing to light up those lamps. Because otherwise you'd have to be, like, right up close to targeting them. And that can just get really annoying. The Lost Sinner. There we go. Let's throw some lightning. Stay away from Cell Sword. Come on. Oh, the mode of stamina. That's why. Ah! Fine. No melee attacks. Ah, I missed. Oh, yeah! Right in the back. Yeah! Soul of a Lost Sinner is mine. <laughs> My power is absolute. Alrighty. Now let's open this door. What was he protecting? See, ooh, a chest. He was protecting fragrant branch of yours. <gasps> Fantastic. And lastly is a oh, the sword's broken. Primal bonfire is lit. Primal bonfire was rekindled. 
Fantastic. Return to Farfire. I don't know where the Farfire is, but we're headed there now. That's actually a good question. What is a far? Where is Farfire? Oh, hey! Whoa! Teleported us all the way over here. What's up, girl? You have acquired the soul of an old one. Yes, I have. That is more than most undead can say. Yeah, powerful, right? Uh, now that we're here, might as well level up the Estus. Ah, okay, we only had enough for one. Alright. Well, that's, uh... That takes care of one of these bosses. Oh, here's that lady that I told you that would eventually come over here. Oh, you again. Go on. It's on the cheek for you. <laughs> yep. Lovely time. But we don't want that. Um, what do we want? This is a very good question. Wasp of Steel. Uh, let's see if we can reinforce our stuff. There we go. Reinforce that. And... Yeah, I think I'm good for now. I'll be around. There we go. So now we have to decide where we're going next. So we've already gone that way. Oh, let's get this over and done with. The worst place to have to go is down that giant hole in the center. Where's the kitty cat? Oh, hello, the kitty cat. Oh. Who are you again? God of Thunder. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not serious. Well, it's good. You do have a rather pleasant scent. Oh, well. The type I'm quite fond of. <laughs> I really do want a talking cat, guys. Um, buy item. Make sure to grab the cat ring as it will help you from slowly falling. And ring of whispers. Always a good one to get. Satisfied? I'll be... Alright. Here comes the fun part. Um, cat ring. There we go. So we're now going to try to fall down this way. Boop. There we go. Boop. Let's do a quick heal. Alright, let's see. There is an item. So let's... Yeah! There we go. Alright. You have to do this, like, quite perfectly. Oh, wait. I don't think I want to go down this way. Alright. Well, let's try it. Whoop! There we go. I don't have the key for that door up there. So there's a ladder here. There we go. One, two. I ring of the evil eye. Then just fall gently onto this way. And now we're at the bottom. Um, where are we going? Oh, not exactly what I wanted. There we go. Make sure to take down this thing. Oh, look at that. Dark Knight stone. Dark Knight? That might actually turn my weapon into a dark weapon. That'd be super handy. Boop. Ah, shite. That didn't work. Oh, I hate these guys. There we 
go. Make sure to kill them with absolute prejudice. As if they get to you, they explode, and well, we all know how that works out. Not a fun time. A flame butterfly, not bad. Watch out for the water, as it is very difficult to walk through. Oh, hello, knight. <laughs> oh, you couldn't handle the heat. Sublime Bone Dust. Ooh, very nice. That's to upgrade your Estus Flask. Ah. Just making our way through the mud. Well, now that we have, um... Uh, now that we're down here, we can put back on our Stone Ring. We're just gonna continue on until we get over here. We are slowly but surely getting into what's called the gutter. Kind of an empty place, really. Can't really say that there's much to it. Boop. And come on. Fine, I'll take the ladder down. There we go. Woo! Oh, that was a bigger fall than I was expecting. Mm. Alright, and a chest. Oh, I love a chest. Token of spite. <laughs> Just a token of spite. Yeah, watch out, these things spit. Fa bonfire below. Yeah, but you gotta land right. Um. Dang it! Oh. Oh, we made it. Woo! Alright, that was... I was a bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. That's not what I wanted. But, it'll do. Let's go explore the gutter. And, um, once again, it's a place full of darkness. Yeah, free stuff. A dung pie. We just found a pile of poop. That is fantastic. Huh? Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you worshipping the, uh... Worshipping this thing? There we go. Ugh. I'm definitely not a fan of this place. This is actually one of the places that I dislike the most. I dare say, it's like, I love Dark Souls too, but like, this place? I don't know what they were thinking. Well, I mean, obviously they were thinking, ooh, another Blight Town. But, oh, dicks! But let me tell you, we could have definitely done without this place. Uh, Alright. What do we got? Oh! Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, two of one? That's awesome. There we go, just light these pools on fire. <laughs> there we go, they're kind of like torches. Except for on the ground. Poison throwing knife. Poison throwing knife. There we go. Look at us go. Just jumping through all these little hoops. Alrighty. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of dudes in there. You generally don't want to go and open that up. 
It's like when they say, you know, a giant can of worms. Oh, come on. Giant can of worms in my butt. Alright, so this we have to drop down. Oh, crap. Trying to remember how to get down there. There we go. Light more torches. Ah, Melinda the Butcher. She's also in all the games. Ring of Soul Protection. Very nice. And we just roll on to here. Ah, yes. That's right, that's a mimic. Oh, come on! Come on, that was rude! The stupid mimic. <sighs> oh, now we're ugly again. You know I don't like being ugly. There we go. Light a torch. Alright. So all of our souls are over there. And that's like the first minute we've come across, too. There we go. So now I have to go all the way. Stupid way back, just so I can get my stuff back. You gotta watch out, these guys have dark weapons, so they're actually stronger than you think. Like, this guy doesn't have any weapons, so he's weak, and it puts you in a false sense of security. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just burn, baby, burn. Alright, let's, let's put up my torch. I don't exactly need it right now. There we go. Alright. So now we gotta try to get back there and destroy that stupid mimic. So we do this. Then we do some other. Oh, that failed. Oh, Butcher Melinda. I forgot about her already. <laughs> How quaint. Immediately being forgotten about. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, there she is. Melinda, so good to see you. There we go. Yes, I'll go do battle with her. Wherever she went. Oh, she's now above me. Come on, Melinda. Come on down. Okay, seriously, I need you to come down. Dick a tree. Great, now she's just like stuck up there. Oh no, never mind. There we go. I mean, 
because we have the stone ring, our attacks just stun lock people. <laughs> there we go. That sounds done. There we go. Now I'm gonna try from behind. That was a stupid thing. Can't. What the hell? I was behind it. That doesn't even make sense. There you go. At least this time I killed it. Oh yeah. And just in case it wasn't bad enough that you had to go and defeat it, you also now have to drop down and try to get onto the second floor. Come on. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's better, that's better. Alright, let's try this again. Because if you see, the item landed on the second floor. Not the floor that I freaking killed it on. This is the dumbest thing possible. Why would they make a mechanic like this? It's all like, oh, let's just piss people off. Nope. Ah, uh, this has got to be really riveting content right here. Is me trying to get the stupid item that fell in the floor. Oh, for fuck's sakes! God damn this stupid piece of garbage! Alright, I'm only gonna try one more time. If it fails, then fuck it. I'm not. It's not that important. Come on. No, come on. Nope, fuck it. It's not worth it. I don't care. I'm done. It's not worth the hassle or the time. I spent way too much time already on that. So let's grab a torch and let's light our way. Alright, so now that we're done in this area, we're just going to return back this way. I was expecting one of those to spin. There we go. And this actually leads us right back to our bonfire. So that way we can re-rest at it and get ready for more. But guys, we're actually out of time. We're going to continue this on next time. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have been great. Keep safe during the 2020 pandemic. And until next time... You have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye.